this guy right here, Rich Eisen, I actually, before I thought the NFL, or knew the NFL was rigged and scripted, I used to actually really like this guy, Rich Eisen. Him, Pat McAfee, there's a few guys I used to like a lot and look up to because I wanted to do what they're doing. I wanted to report on the sport. But now that I know it's fake, it's just I look at these guys differently, man. I just look at them like shills, like they're just out here to just get something from you or get a result from you. So what you're going to see in this video is just some more damage control. He's basically going to say, oh, the NFL is rigged. You know, basically doing the same thing Arian Foster did. So you're going to see a lot of guys doing this in the next coming weeks. And a lot of it is going to be happening next year, too, because it's going to be worse and worse. Like I say, every year it's going to get worse and worse. So they're going to have to keep doing this type of damage control every single time. But uh, let's take a listen. It's going to be baffling. Huh? We've gotten a whole bunch of um, um, tweets in our direction. Greatly appreciated. I've gotten some uh, some texts and some emails. Some people were saying this to me um, over the past weekend when I was strolling around the Super Bowl state about what a great job we all did last week. And I say that to all of you here and everybody part of the Rich Eisen show last week. And uh, in terms of the personal kudos I've gotten, I'm, I'm touched by it all, especially knowing that no one out there in terms of my work, and I don't think you guys know either in terms of my work, um, the script for Super Bowl 57, yeah. that part about the defensive holding penalty, that was mine. Um, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you oh, because Rich Eisen is any, he has any part of the NFL, right? He literally, he's an officiator. He, he is a coach, right? Rich Eisen, he controls a lot that happens in the NFL, right? Like, come on, bro. Like, for you to even say like that is just ridiculous. You're not even an employee of the NFL. So how could you have any say as to what would happen? Like, so when he said this, I was just like, come on, bro. At least work for the NFL. You should have seen it in the table read. The table read was wild. You know, somebody had to tell James Bradbury it was, was going to be him. See, like the way he's doing it, it's like, bro, it's not even like you're not even like pretending. It's like so obvious. Like, come on, bro. You got to do better than this. I can't believe he wasted a 13-minute segment on this. Take it very well, no. but he kind of kept it to himself. Um, he he kind of kept it to himself? So who did he tell then if he kind of kept it to himself? And, um, and, and then, of course, when he did get called for holding in that part of the game, it, it totally threw everyone on my Twitter feed that was barking at me about how everything was being uh, uh, set up and fixed for the eat. And notice how he grabs for no reason. Like, dude, you're literally right next to him. You don't have to grab him. So, like, he clearly did it on purpose to draw a flag. And now Rich Eisen's trying to cover it up. Damage control, right? Because it's so obvious. Like, there's no reason for you to be grabbing him here. The ball sails over his head, 10 yards, not even close. I just did this to help him. So it, it makes it more obvious. Rich Eisen didn't tell him to do this, but someone did. It wasn't Eisen, but it was someone. Eagles had totally undercut them at that point in time. Like all good movies, Rich, you need a twist. Yeah. You, you need a plot twist, especially late in the third act. In the yeah, yeah it's just like all those Chiefs fans that didn't see that call on Juju Smith-Schuster early on. It's a fix. It was fixed. It's all fixed. You see, how, see how crazy it is? He says it literally like four times. Like, dude, come on. So obviously you're trying so hard to convince convince us of something. What do I always say? The more someone tries to convince you of something, the opposite is always true. Usually I say that towards women, but this time, clearly he's trying to convince us. It's not rigged. <laughs> but clearly we know it is. Like You can try to do all you want, but we're still going to know the facts. As long as Dwight Smith is out there, we're always going to know. All of a sudden, that was my old Henry-like twist. Just flip it. Well Thank you. And like I said, you know, um, it, it, it was it was an incredible season just scripting it all the way to the finish. Yeah. See, now now he's just going overboard. Like, literally. I want to know how much they paid him to do this segment. Shout out to the writers. So, you know, again, I, I, I told everybody. Yeah, see, so he's I got 520 subscribers. Fine. So he has a good, a good chunk of audience to 
get this propaganda out too. So yeah, they definitely paid him to say this nonsense. My idea to just come up with this one last penalty, just piss off. I did, I did that. See, like, come on, bro. You didn't. First of all, when they make these penalties happen, it's not to piss people off. <laughs> like they don't give a damn about the people. It's about the money. It's about the bets. So now that he's saying it like this, now we know he's full of. He's full of it right now. Because you wouldn't do it to piss people off. You don't care about the people. It's about the money. It's always about the money, not the people. So now we caught you. We caught you. Red-handed. You know, all the New Yorkers out there were upset about the Empire State Building yeah. getting lit up. Now oh, now we're talking about the Empire State Building, bro. Like, come on now. What like, do we know? you see what I got cooked up. Yeah. And uh, it was a tough Oh, yeah, because Rich Eisen controls anything that happens in the NFL. Look to Rich. Room, you know? To Bradbury in particular. We're, we're going to call him Dick from now on. And then, of course, the officials didn't want to be front and center. Well, Nick Sarah, uh, that, that's right, good. Dick. Because the officials aren't always front and center, Dick. Nice call on that one. Be crying. Dick. Okay, well, uh, no, he flipped me the bird. Oh. As well he should, because you're a dick. When he flipped, because he knew what was coming. Oh, gosh, so we're going to be up by, you know. See, he's trying to convince us like he didn't know. Like, bruh. Come on, dick. We know that they have a script, guy. It's already been confirmed. You have other colleagues that aren't pussies and that actually spilled the beans. Something that you're doing, uh, I guess, with a joke, sarcastically. Come on, now. Ten, huh? Ten, huh? And we're just going to join the Super Bowl 51 Falcons as the only teams in Super Bowl history to be up by ten or more at halftime and not win the game, huh? It was a tough sell. Come on, guys. See right there? He's li he's spilling the beans. Even though he's trying to sway us off and be sarcastic, he's actually spilling the beans right now. He just doesn't know it. Because, you know, all the Eagles fans thought so. Uh, my apologies to uh, everybody out there about my script idea. See, then he smiles, closes his eyes. Like, bro, come on, man. This is just awful. It's painful to watch this right now. How dumb is this? Hashtag NFL. Now, all this stuff. The only thing that's dumb is these guys trying to cover up for it and trying to make people feel stupid for knowing the truth. And this is what, what we talk about. The truth is very, it's, it's something that people just want to hide. They want to suppress it. The truth is something that only a few people can know accordingly. I got that all throughout the entire Super Bowl. It's fixed, it's fixed, it's fixed. See, he can't even say this looking at the camera, guys. So that's another tell. He's doing this with his eyes closed. He's looking down because he's not telling the truth. People that tell the truth look at you. People that lie, they don't look at you. They look down. They look away. They glance. They fidget. What has he been doing this whole time? He's not looking at the camera. What the hell is he even looking at? His name tag? Dick? And, and then, of course, when the officials pop in there... It's, it's the officials who are fixing Oh, he it. popped in there as if he wasn't always there. Come on, rich, rich yeah. dick. And it's just human condition, folks. Really, dick? Uh, dick, we're saying it's human condition, dick? Come on, dick. I still, to this moment, cannot believe that flag came out. But you're the one saying that it was scripted, dick. But now you're saying that you can't believe it, Dick? Which one is it, Dick? Please tell us, Dick. You know, at, at first, when I saw it in the stadium, and I'm like, yeah, that's a whole... He tugged his jersey. He did on it. purpose. And you're trying to cover up the fact that he did it on purpose. You're trying to make it like into a huge joke. But the only joke here is you, Dick. His jersey. And, and then... You Look know, at the camera as one time, Dick. Went along, I'm like, that is something that should not be called. And I heard. So then, why are you making a huge joke out of it, you Dick? Pereira, Mike Pereira, lead Fox rules analyst. Oh, because anything Mike Pereira says, you have to take that to the bank. It's not like he works for the NFL or Vegas and gets huge checks to tell us what we want to hear. Oh yeah, nope, nope. Day yesterday doesn't matter. First quarter, last quarter, first week, last. Two minutes, you see it, you call it. Um, but they weren't seeing it and calling it all game. Dick, they called it, I think, once or twice all game. And they called it on the second to last play in the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, we believe and, it. And, yeah, you see it and you call it. But 
it wasn't called much of the game. Where does yeah. it come from? It came from New York, Vegas, the NFL, Dick, maybe, so he's saying. And I think it ultimately just comes down to the disappointment that we didn't see the ending that I, the, the game deserved. And we were never gonna. I appreciate gonna. James Bradbury saying, "Yeah, that was a hold. I, I thought they'd let it slide." And I come on, bro. You're right in front of the ref. They ain't letting nothing slide. And like, why are you holding him? And why are you admitting it? Because he's a martyr. That's why they probably paid him off a heavily nice check to do that and say that. So you don't give a damn. Here's five million dollars. Go say and do this. Appreciate Hertz and Nick Sirianni after the game saying. We should have played better because that is the truth. I mean, the fact that it did come down to a holding call against the Eagles after they were up by 10. Okay. They were up by 10. And after they were dominating the first half of that game, which they did, they could have easily been up 28 to 10. Well, that's because the Eagles, or excuse me, the Chiefs weren't trying, they were laying down. And then the Eagles laid down in the second half. They just take they took turns laying down. That's all they did. They swapped. That's all that happened. Oh, yeah. They could have been up 18 at half. They also got the benefit of Kansas City. They should have been up 21 at half. What are we talking about? The butt kicker hit one right off the upright. Thus, when Kadarius Tony waltzed in untouched into the end zone to give the Chiefs their first lead of Super Bowl 57. But he, tried, he didn't mention... That this guy was wide open, and it was the second time they ran that play. Literally the second time in a row, and he's wide open for the second time. Didn't want to mention that though. Fourth quarter, you gotta do better than that, dude. The first quarter, they'd have been up ten seven. The Chiefs. So the Eagles did get some benefits in this game, but they also literally fumbled one away. Jalen Hurts is. Um, he dropped it. He dropped it and then kicked it. Drop kick. That's what he did. He did a drop kick. Okay? So what are we talking about? He didn't fumble anything. He dropped it. Let's call it what it was. Dick. Only mistake of the night was a major mistake. Led to, by the way, the Chiefs being all over that running play that they called for Hurts. And they had to make him bounce. Um, actually, the lineman... Didn't block. You you have two linemen, or actually four linemen, double teaming. So they basically left two men free on the D line at his face, and then he drops the ball down, and kicks it. Like what are we talking about? It's outside, and he then put the ball on the ground. But the Eagles did allow Kadarius Tony and Sky Moore to enter the end zone untouched. Yeah, they it's finally something truthful that he said. Yes, they allowed him. They just gave it up. See now, guys? See? Give him enough time. He'll tell you the truth, unbeknownst to him. So this whole time, he's been telling us it's not rigged, and now he's telling us, oh, they just allowed them to get in the end zone twice, untouched, wide open. Right. So keep just going. Keep going, Dick. Zone opportunities instead of forcing a field goal like the Chiefs did to the Eagles. That third down drive in the game, looking back, that third, pardon me, third quarter drive in the game, after the Chiefs responded, the false start to open the second half with a touchdown, a seven-minute, seventeen-play drive in which they picked up two third and longs and a fourth down to move down the field into the red zone, only to stall there. Mm. That was a wild drive mm. where Dallas mm. got mm. its third and thirteen catch was ruled a catch. Then there was a substitution that the Eagles made that forced the refs to stop the game to allow the Chiefs to substitute. And in that interim, Andy Reid challenged the Goddard catch, and it was upheld, by the way, part of the script. All right. I've had enough of Dick right now, so you guys get the point. We're going to have a bunch of these coming out of the woodwork. Guys just trying to bow down the NFL, suck them clean, and just saying anything. Oh, the script, the script, in quotation, like... I don't know, guys. We're going to be seeing a lot of this. Uh, stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching.